How small are these optic nerves? With Optos Ultra Wide Field Imaging, it is possible to get high resolution images from children's retinas right here and see the blue light right there. even Can you see the blue while they're awake with or without medriasis. Using accompanying software, image analysis of the optic nerve images is possible. Magnifying, centering, and then selecting the ruler tool to draw the horizontal diameter and the vertical dimension of the optic nerve. Horizontal nystagmus complicates the measurements of the optic nerve dimensions. Repeat measures of the optic nerve in cooperative patients allows repeat measurement of the horizontal and the vertical dimensions of the optic nerve in the presence of nystagmus. If the nystagmus is traveling with the scanning laser, the optic nerve horizontally may appear very wide. However, if the optic nerve Nystagmus is traveling against the scanning laser. The width of the optic nerve may appear very narrow, with the vertical dimension much more reliable. Again, in the presence of horizontal nystagmus, the vertical uh, measurement is less variable. OCT is very unreliable in the presence of nystagmus. Well, optos is independent of refractive error, correlates well with OCT, Horizontal can be estimated from a reliable vertical dimension. These are images from children less than one year of age with optic nerve hypoplasia measured on Optos ultra wide field imaging. A horizontal diameter less than 1.45 correlates with optic nerve hypoplasia.